Hey guys and girls, wanted to share with you a way that you can print on your Prusa i3 MK2 and give you the ability to print on glass. You're going to need a proper sized piece of glass and you're going to need to measure the thickness of this glass. I've just got a random piece of glass from a previous printer. It doesn't fit my bread bed properly, but you're going to want to get one that does. So I'm loading up some G-code and I'll share this on the Prusa uh, MK2.com website and uh, you're going to need some type of clips to clip it on. Now I don't have the proper clips nor do I have the proper sized glass so you're going to want to make sure that you've got that measured the thickness of your glass. Clean my nozzle off here. I've initiated the script and it's going to run through its uh, normal mesh bed leveling scenario here. It's going to be part of the script. It's going to move throughout the bed get all the measurements so that it can capture that information into memory. Then it's going to return to home position and raise up off the bed 30 millimeters and then pause for two series of one minute durations. It should give you enough time. There's going to be an audible beep in between. So you'll have a, a minute to get your glass into place, get it clamped on, and then you'll have a minute warning before it resumes. So we've just initiated and moved through the bed mesh leveling process here. It's going to raise up 30 millimeters. We're going to put our glass in. And I'm going to try to get this into place, approximate. It's not its not near large enough for the length or the width. But I'm just going to line it up onto that far left corner. And I've got a couple of chip clips I'm going to clip it on. You'll see here shortly that that one that I put on the left is a little bit too close. And that that print has, as, as it runs, its purge strip pushes it off. But you're going to want to make sure that you've got enough clips uh, to clamp these on in an area on the back, a couple on the back and a couple on the front. And you may even wait until it initiates its purge strip and begins printing to finalize placing a clip on the uh, upper front left of your machine. So it's going to get ready to run its normal purge strip that you're familiar with. We're coming into our second minute warning here. And then it's going to run that purge strip and then resume printing. Now after it uh, moves and initiates that purge strip, it's going to reset its zero position so that uh, it's taken into account for that glass thickness. So it's important that you measure your glass thickness. You'll watch here that the uh, clip got moved a little bit, but it's purged out and now it's beginning to print on that glass. And a lot of us like to print on glass because you get that extra smooth, glossy finish. And glass sticks fairly well, plus you can take it off and then uh, move prints on and off the bed quite easily. And here's just another close-up of that printing. Printing a couple of little 5mm uh, tall standoffs on here. So, I hope you find this interesting. Remember to go to prusamk2.com. I'll have an uh, article on this and the uh, startup script that you'll need to put in your slicing software to make this possible. And there's that purge strip. Alright guys and gals, talk to you later. Bye-bye.